Thank you so much. With Andy Murray out. Good luck today, Cam. Thank you. The expectation on the British number one only rises. While Cameron Norrie gets ready for his match, there's a new worry here that behind the scenes, computers could be taking over. So here we are, second round match. Wimbledon says it will use artificial intelligence on some commentary at this year's championships. Former British number one Andrew Castle has been commentating for the BBC for 20 years. Am I going to be replaced by a computer? I mean, I was reading this um, information on this and thinking, well, how's that going to work? You lose the human flavour. Now, if it gets to a point where artificial intelligence can be interesting, like a John McEnroe, then, uh, you know, I want, to, I want 10% of that. But I doubt very much it's going to happen soon. But if this is the end of the line for me, then so be it. As for tennis fans, the reaction on AI commentary is mixed. I think you're going to miss the nuances of the players that have been there and done it, what they're going to be thinking. AI with the best will in the world is artificial intelligence on written text, not on feelings, experiences. So I think it'll be a poor thing. I mean, let's try it. You think it's let's a good see, idea? Let's see how, what they say. Does it matter if a computer is doing the commentary? Well, we've got computers d virtually doing lines now, so let's see what happens. Substrucker, 28 years old, from Austria. IBM have already used AI commentary in golf and their technology is being used at Wimbledon. He took stroke two and the ball traveled 162 yards into the greenside bunker. This is just for post-match highlights, but it is a stepping stone to potentially offering AI commentary on live matches. But the focus is very much around matches that don't currently have commentary. So on some of the outside courts, juniors, seniors, wheelchairs, for example. There was nothing computer generated about Norrie's results coming back from a set down and through to the quarterfinals. And there'll be no virtual reality needed when he returns to court on Friday. Rags Martel, ITV News, Queen's Club, West London.